Hey guys, this is God of Politics, and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm doing another election prediction, and this election prediction is for Donald Trump versus Pete Buttigieg. Pete Buttigieg won the Iowa caucuses in terms of the number of delegates, and he came a close runner-up in the state of New Hampshire. While he isn't going to do as well, most likely in Nevada and South Carolina, there is still a very small chance that he could become the nominee. If he's able to do well in some Super Tuesday states like Minnesota, uh, Oklahoma, you know, Virginia, and I, while I don't think he will, we're going to do the election prediction if he is able to become the nominee and face off against Donald Trump. First off, we'll start off by filling the safe states for Donald Trump, these states that will go safe to him no matter what. Uh, all of Nebraska, except for the second district, Kansas, Oklahoma, uh, Louisiana, also Texas would go safe. Uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, South Carolina, Missouri, Iowa, Ohio. Actually, Nebraska's second would go safe as well. Uh, Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana, uh, as well as, I think that's going to be it, so that's, as well as mean second. Yep, so that's 189 safe electoral votes for Donald Trump. And then for Pete Buttigieg, he would win. Washington, California, Hawaii, Illinois, New York, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, D.C. Some people have been saying that Delaware, New Jersey, and uh, Rhode Island could be closer. I don't think that'll necessarily be the case for those elections. Many of those states are socially liberal. They might be okay more with Pete Buttigieg, a gay candidate, being president. Uh, so I think they still would vote by a safe margin. Maybe it would be a bit closer than with the other, another candidate, and maybe in the future it could be closer. But for now, I think it would go by a safe margin. Now for the likely lean and tilt states, we'll start on the West Coast. Oregon would be likely. He just wouldn't be able to turn out enough of the voters. Many of the voters would go to Donald Trump instead. Many of the uh, independent voters, he meant not like a gay candidate, but it would still go by a likely margin, just not by a safe margin. You see that in Nevada would be flipped to Donald Trump by a lean margin. Pete Buttigieg would have very low turnout amongst the Hispanic population. I think it already is only like 40-something percent, and Pete Buttigieg would make that even lower. They make up a large share of the Democratic electorate from this state, and if Pete Buttigieg is not able to do well in the Nevada caucuses, I don't think he'll be able to do well in any general election either. This is a state that Donald Trump almost won in 2016, too. I think that state would go by a lean margin to Donald Trump. Same thing with the state of Arizona. Even with the trends and everything, this state would still go by a lean margin. There's not much to say about this. It is trending blue, but uh, a lot of the Mormon voters and the suburban voters in Maricopa County won't be voting for a guy like Pete Buttigieg. However, the state of Colorado would be by a likely margin. The state of New Mexico would be by a lean margin. Uh, New Mexico has benefited a lot from Trump's policies in many ways. Um, and the state of Colorado is also very socially liberal, so I think that would go by a likely margin to Pete Buttigieg. They might be a little bit closer. Uh, even though Hillary Clinton didn't do very well in both these states, and, and Trump would have done a lot better for, for Gary Johnson getting 9% of the vote in New Mexico. Uh, people who just will still win both of these states comfortably. Uh, Minnesota, I think, will actually go by a tilt margin to Donald Trump, purely because of the fact that although it has elected candidates like Ilhan Omar and things like that, it almost went to Donald Trump in 2016, and Pete Buttigieg will be able to turn out a lot of the voters, and a lot of the voters, like I said before, will not vote for a gay guy. I'm not saying they shouldn't vote for a gay guy, but I just don't think that they will turn out for him. They might just vote for Donald Trump instead. That's, ta uh, that's talking about independent voters and moderate Democrats and moderate Republicans. They will all go to Donald Trump. Georgia, I almost want to put it a safe margin, but I'll put it a likely margin just because of the trends in the sub, uh, suburbs of Atlanta. But Pete Buttigieg won't turn out any of the black vote. He has about, like, what, 5% support amongst them right now. So for them, he would get uh, a likely margin of the loss from the state of Georgia. Florida go by a lean margin. There's a lot of Jewish people there. They would not turn for Pete Buttigieg. They would normally turn out for a Democrat. And while it'll go by a lean margin anyway, because it is a swing state, it is Florida, it's always close. But it will go because Donald Trump, you know, he's an incumbent. He is this is his home state now. All those other factors would give him the victory by a lean margin. Uh, North Carolina would go by a likely margin. It went by five in 2016, which would just be on the cusp of a likely margin. Uh, but in this situation, he would get it by a larger margin because it has been trending red in the past couple of elections. And Tom Tillis would be able to pull off a victory here as well in that situation. As you can see now, the Donald Trump is at 276 electoral votes. We haven't even done the Rust Belt yet. 
Um, so it looks like it's going to be a big victory for Donald Trump. The state of Virginia I actually believe would also be a tilt to Donald Trump. Uh, you have a lot of establishing Democrats here that have actually gone behind Pete Buttigieg instead of Joe Biden. Now, some have gone to Bloomberg, but a lot have gone to Pete Buttigieg, and he might be the establishment favorite now. Uh, if Bloomberg was not in there, now it's Bloomberg for the most part. But Pete Buttigieg, I don't think, would be able to do well in this state. It has trended blue a bit since it's blue, trended blue a lot since it first went blue in, in 30 years in 2008 to Barack Obama. Um, and it only went to Hillary Clinton by about four points in 2016, and that was with a running mate from Virginia. So clearly it would have been a lot closer without him. And with Pete Buttigieg, a candidate who is gay, I just don't think that be, he'd be able to turn out any of those voters. Um, I think – actually, we'll put off Maine First District. Maine First District would be safe. Uh, Maine at large, I believe, would go tilt to Donald Trump. A lot of people are uh, saying that Pete Buttigieg would do better in the Northeast, but I just don't think that's true. He's from Indiana. Why would that make any sense? He just has the white old vote for the Democrats. But many of them say that voted for Bernie would not turn out if they vote for someone like Pete Buttigieg. And same thing with the state of New Hampshire. A lot of people I don't think would vote, come out to vote for him. Uh, a lot of the older vote, the wider vote, would not vote for him, although that is who Pete Buttigieg does well with, but that's Democrats, not Republicans. Uh, same thing with independents. I don't think they'd turn out to vote for him. And in terms of the Rust Belt, we'll do all three of these at once. Uh, Pennsylvania will go by a lean margin. Uh, Michigan will also go by a lean margin. And Wisconsin would go by a lean margin. I don't think Pete Buttigieg would do as bad here as Bernie Sanders would. Uh, just for reasons that he's not necessarily a socialist, Pete Buttigieg, his plans are a bit more moderate. His plans are a bit more reasonable, so he'd be able to get some of the votes from that. But I think that the gay part does uh, hurt him a lot. Uh, they wouldn't equate him with Christianity as much because he is gay, because he is married to a man. And that would turn off a lot of voters from him, and he would lose a lot of those states because of that. And it would be a very comfortable victory for Donald Trump. You could almost consider it a landslide. Very close, actually 20 electoral votes away from what Barack Obama got in 2008. But you could even see people, uh, Donald Trump expand, maybe winning New Mexico, maybe getting Colorado closer, um, maybe getting states like New Jersey, Delaware, Rhode Island, Connecticut closer, getting states like Oregon closer. But then you could say Pete Buttigieg wins Minnesota back, wins Virginia, uh, you know, wins New Hampshire. Uh, in all of those other states, he would be able to win, but I just cannot see that happening. Uh, so pretty much because of the gay factor, he is like a white version of Obama that's gay, as a lot of people have talked about him. And he is, he does have no experience. He has mayor of a tiny town, which isn't much experience for him. And I don't think that's going to help him in the long run. And he would lose by a margin of 341 to 197. So yeah. Thank you all for watching this video. Please like and subscribe as always, and I will see you guys later.